See, when it started, and I'm talking about good about 15 years ago, when it first started, it was a, I mean, it, it was a, it was a luxury, right? So people did it because one, they could do it. Two, they could tell people that I have it. So it was more for that. This isn't residential automation. Um, but if you look at, uh, let's say, uh, institutional automation, like a hospital or something like that, the earliest automations that we worked with was uh, for uh, Chetinad Hospital, the entire project. There, uh, we tried to use it for access control. It was used for security. It was used for, uh, you know, more things like attendance and stuff like that. So that's all automation comprised of. Today, I think automation encompasses a whole new thing. I mean, it's it's almost like I mean, it's almost like you know your smartphones. So it's it's becoming part and parcel of uh, design. We don't even think about automation anymore. It's because it's a part of the whole thing. So it's becoming that common. And every home or every building that we do has a small piece of automation, but it varies in degree, depending on complexity of both user, building typology and function. Sure, it already is doing that, right? Um, slowly, if, I mean, let's, let's, let's look at the smallest building type, that's a house. Grills are going away because of automation, because you have security, you have, uh, you know, glass break sensors, you have pressure sensors and uh, things like that. So that in itself, and, and it's also become affordable enough, like technology has started becoming cheaper and cheaper and more and more accessible. So uh, automation has now pretty much become a part of these kind of buildings. But then you take more and more sophisticated buildings, like you take uh, a hospital. Now, hospital is a complex building. Um, most things are automated today. I mean, right down to monitoring patients in an ICU, you know, it, 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 from both medical needs, also from administrative needs. It also says how many hours a patient has spent in ICU, therefore, how do you build him? So, automation also works that way. Um, today, when you work in a brain suite, in a, in a neurology theatre, uh, automatically as the surgeon works with it, you know, uh, the, 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 there, is a, there is an MRI that's detecting what is going on. So, it, it's becoming part and parcel of buildings today and we sort of wire things in. Another thing is automation has evolved uh, so much that today you can retrofit automation in an existing building. So, we're not as worried as uh, automa have, uh, about worried about automation or providing spaces for automation as we were before. So I think it's, it's, it's really evolved quite a bit. See, the, the automation is evolving every minute. I don't think it evolves. Every day uh, when, we, when we look at uh, automation providers, there's something new. What has become better according to me is that it is becoming more and more simple. Correct. Anything that's simple. For example, today you are, you are, if you take, why are the Apple products popular? Because they are, they are, they are, they are, it's meant for idiots. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> with all due respect to Apple users, you can, you can, anybody can use an Apple product because it's so simple. The dashboards are so simple, you know. So automation has also started become simpler and simpler. Because of that, more and more people want to use it. I mean, they're gone are the days when people used to be, you know, overwhelmed by automation. They're not anymore. So, and people want it, and it's also not that expensive anymore. There, there, you know, there are solutions, there, are, there, are, there, are, there is a range uh, for everybody. I mean, there's, there's, the, there's the Redmi and then there's the Google Pixel, right? So, yes. so the, the range is there, but Redmi also does something that's pretty good. Automation, or for that matter, anything that involves machines or, you know, artificial intelligence is only as good as its service, okay? While as simple as automation may have become, as easy as automation become, it can also fail, right? It is very, very important for an for, for somebody like a domotics to be able to provide service when it fails immediately. Because now you're dependent on it. You cannot do without your mobile phone, can you? Right? So somebody must be able to, the, the mobile seller must be able to give you a quick service, must be able to give you efficient service. And that's something domotics are good at. The other thing is, Automation is, 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 a, is, is an ocean on its own, right? So, the ability to provide the right suite of products for the right building is as important as the product themselves. Appropriate, okay? 
anything, technology, building, clothes, everything have to be appropriate. If it's not appropriate, it's not going to work. So that to have a technical expertise and to have knowledge to do that is very important. And that's what domotics have done for us so far. Mm -hmm.